So in today's video, we're going to be looking at tags within Microsoft Teams. I'm sure you're part of some pretty large teams, and sometimes you're thinking, there must be an easier way to quickly connect with a subset of users. Well, that's where tags come in. Instead of having to at mention everyone individually, you can just at mention your tag and quickly connect with the people you need. And these tags can be created in any way you want that fits your team. So for example, you could create tags based on people's roles, their skills, a project that you're working on. So let's dive in and look at tags. All right, so we're now here in Microsoft Teams. Let's look at creating a tag. So I happen to be the owner for this digital initiative project, and I want to create a tag for our marketing team and our sales team. So to be able to do that, all you've got to do is hit the three dots or the more options, and then go down on this menu here to manage tags. At this point, if you've not created any tags before, you're going to get a quick page just telling you what tags are, you know, easy way to notify people with app mentions. And all we need to do is go ahead and hit create tag. From here, let's give our tag a name. So I'm just going to do marketing. And then we want to add in all the people for our tag. So I'm just going to do Megan here, who's our marketing manager. And at this point, I could add more people. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. And now that we've created that tag, I can see I have the marketing tag. I could click into that, see all the people within it. But I'm just going to close this down just to show you, you know, at this point, if you want to add more people into that tag, it's really simple to do. So we can just hit the more options again, go down to manage tags. And at this point, again, I could either create a new tag or we can go back into our marketing. And there's a few things we can do here. First of all, we can go ahead and edit the tag name. So I could change it from marketing to something else. I can also now go add someone else in here. So maybe I want to add our marketing assistant, Alex, into this tag and go ahead and hit add. It is worth noting at this point, you might be thinking, well, I don't see any delete here. Like, how would I remove a tag? To be able to do that, all you have to do is remove everyone that's assigned to the tag. And you can do that by just hitting more options and then remove. Once everyone's removed from the tag, then the tag is going to be automatically deleted. The last thing that we can do here is you can see this chat with group. And this is pretty awesome. So you know, maybe you didn't want to post something to the whole channel. And you just want to have a quick message or a call with the group here assigned to this tag. If you hit chat with group, now it's going to bring you in here to a group chat. You can just start communicating with them straight away. So let's dive back to Teams. And at this point, we've created a tag. There is another way of doing this. We can easily just go back here to this more options. And then we can go to manage team. And then from manage team here, you're already going to start noticing that we have tags as a column. And we can see that Megan has the marketing tag. And if I drop down the rest of our members, we're going to see here that Alex has marketing as well. But maybe I want to create a new tag for sales. So I could go here to Isaiah and go hit the tag and do add or remove tags. So if we select this, now we only have marketing. Let me just select that again. So we only have marketing. I'm going to go ahead, type in sales. I'm just going to say, look, we can't find a match for that. Do you want to go ahead and create a new tag for sales? And yes, we do. So I'm going to select that. And at this point, we now have a new tag and it's been assigned. So maybe I want to add somebody else to that and just highlight over here, hit add or remove tags to sales, for example, and then apply. So really easy to create tags, add people to it. You know, there is one more thing I wanted to show in Manage Team before we look at the real reason why tags are helpful. So you know, normally by default, tags can only be created by the owner of a team. But here under settings, if you go to the bottom here under tags, you can see here that tags are managed by. You can go ahead and change this if you want from team owners to team owners and members. And now everyone in your team that's a member or an owner is going to be able to create those tags. All right. Well, with that being said, let's go back to general. And at this point, let's create a new conversation and look at how this works. So if I knew new conversation, normally what you would do here without a tag is you know, do at Megan, you know, and then at Alex, and that would go on for as many people as you need to talk to. But at this point, all we need to do is do the at mention, and then we can do marketing. 
for example. And now you can see that it's trying to use this tag and two people have this tag assigned. So if I select that and say, are we ready for the new press release? And I go ahead and send that. Now what we can do is easily go look at this from the end user experience, but they're gonna get at tags like normal, but you can see there, much easier for everyone to read and really quickly to start connecting. So let's dive over to Megan and see what her experience looks like. Okay, so we're now logged in as Megan and we can instantly see here, we've got one on our activity, we've got at mention here in Teams and general here has got a one on it. So if I went to activity, for example, we can see now that Harry's at mention marketing, which has sent all the notifications that we would expect for Megan here. And you know, we got the marketing, are we ready for the new press release? And we can see that Megan has been at tagged. So that's all I wanna show, but hopefully this has been helpful and you start using tags within your teams to easily start connecting with subsets of people. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another.